Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, happy Sunday to you. It's a bit um, a special occasion that I'm filming on a Sunday but we are going horseback riding. <laughs> Actually not we, I am going uh, for a like, kind of visitor lesson at a nearby um, horseback riding school and I'm super super excited because horseback riding is one of my favorite hobbies ever. I've been doing it for over 10 years now but I haven't ridden in the past three years because of uh, an injury, an ankle injury and then I moved uh, to Japan so yeah it's been a while so let's see how it goes today but first let's depart to the horseback riding school. See you there! Okay so we have just just arrived at the horseback riding school here in the uh, park and over there you can already see the people uh, horse, like riding horses it's a really big school and uh, yeah I'm just going to go inside I think that's where I have to go to uh, tell them like I'm here <laughs> yeah, let's go Right after I entered the uh, building, I was first asked to uh, complete like a kind of questionnaire about my personal information and um, how many times I had ridden a horse before, all that kind of stuff. Afterwards, I met um, Mr. Kato, who you see here uh, putting on chaps for me. I actually don't have any horseback riding gear with me in Japan. All of it that I have is back in Belgium, so um, I lent uh, um, I rented, you could say, these chaps over for over my um, like sneakers and horseback riding uh, trousers and the horseback riding trousers, but I used them for that today. Uh, apart from that, I also um, got a body protector. This is a new type of body protector. It has an airbag. It's so fancy. And then uh, last but not least, we also had, of course, a helmet because safety first. <laughs> The way this horseback riding school works is actually a little bit different from the one I used to go to back in Belgium. Here, some people from the horseback riding school themselves, they saddle the horse for you. Like that has never happened to me before. I always saddled my my own horses that I needed to ride on. I actually love doing that. Yeah, so here you see me meeting Gulliver for the first time. He is a uh, thoroughbred um, jumping horse. He is already a little bit older now, so he's not competing or anything anymore but he's like such a sweetheart with such a sweet and kind-hearted a horse it was really lovely and they even let me take um, him myself to the um, Baba that's how you call the um, riding place I don't even know how you call it in Japanese uh, in English I mean like in English in Dutch we say um, the piste well anyway so I okay, was being informed a little bit about um, Gulliver how he was like his character and everything and um, Mr. Kato also asked me some questions about um, what I had done previously for riding and what I didn't do After getting into the saddle, um, yeah, we first walked around uh, the Baba for a little while to warm up um, Gulliver because you can never just immediately start with trot or um, galloping. It, you can just as a, as a normal athlete or um, someone who's doing sports, you can't really start running without warming up. You, ha you have a risk of um, injuring yourself. That just goes the same way with horses. And um, yeah, here I'm just like still very, very, very rusty. Um, so I'm having a little bit hard time um, getting uh, Gulliver to move forward. He 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 felt a little bit more lazy, but that's also due to me because I'm so rusty. And yeah, I can even see my posture is not really uh, great at the moment. But yeah, that's what you can expect after three years. <laughs> so it's been a while for her to ride a horse, and apparently she looks super happy to ride a horse. Oh, now she's galloping, I guess. I guess this is called galloping. It looks really fun, but also really difficult at the same time. It's actually super rare that you can ride a horse in Japan, since it's a... It's 
I don't know how to say that, but it's quite expensive to have an experience in the first place and there are many places that you can ride a horse in Japan. While in Belgium I heard that lots of kids actually learn horseback riding, which is cool. It's different from Japan. Let's see other places how they practice. Uh, she got a personal lesson while others are like group lessons. So there are several horses and people riding on it and having a lesson. Now he's here. No, she's here. dark and then get more beautiful let's wave her hands she must be super happy ride a horse it seems the field is really wild it's really wide but it's actually not really if you see someone is riding a horse on that it seems like not lots of space to move around to running around you can have like better space I mean like vast space but of course if for like learning horseback riding this is already enough for a huge fan but if you want to ride a horse freely probably better to have like the forest or something it must be super refreshing and relaxing to do that or even on the beach After my lesson of about 40 minutes, I was so, so, so tired and sore already. Um, yeah, so he seen me walking. I got up and back to his, um, I don't know what you call this, outside station where he will be um, like dried off and the saddle and the uh, head headgear or something, I don't know how you call that in English, will all be taken off before he will uh, get to rest in his stable. Now I had such an amazing, amazing lesson. It just made me remind, reminded me how much I had actually missed riding a horse. Like it's, it's amazing the connection you have between horses and people and just that, that, that feeling of being free when you're riding it's it's absolutely amazing and Gulliver was an absolute sweetheart so I didn't even feel like unsafe or anything so yeah I had an amazing time now they're going home and we're going home as well
Okay guys, so as you can see I am now back in my normal clothes. So it means means my um, my horseback riding visitor lesson is finished. We got some papers um, and like their booklet or something to just think a little bit about it whether I'm going to continue um, riding there or not or like become a member of their horseback riding club we're going to think a bit more about it um, but I hope you enjoyed it I, I sure did I had like a great great wonderful time horseback riding uh, first time in three years actually um, yeah I think I could still do it although I felt super rusty um, but yeah I had a great time the horse I read was amazing um, he was I rode on, not red. It was amazing. It was really sweet, although a little bit lazy. But yeah, that has also to do with me because I'm rusty. But thank you so much for uh, tuning in today. I hope you like this, um, yeah, horseback riding little trip near my home. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever read, ridden a horse. I'd love to know about that. Please check out my uh, Patreon page. It's linked down below because there's many perks at becoming one of my patrons. And also, kindly you consider subscribing because it really spoils my channel okay so with that I'm going to say bye and see you next time